the British Army's quest for the ultimate armored fighting vehicle has reached new heights with the groundbreaking Ajax Armored Fighting Vehicle. General Dynamics UK's design has emerged as the frontrunner, and the company has been entrusted with supplying 589 of these versatile beasts. Equipped with six variants, boasting advanced electronic systems and mine blast resistance, this marvel is a force to be reckoned with. Its turbocharged diesel engine propels it to unparalleled speeds, while a modular armor system ensures impenetrable protection. Above all, its unique 40mm cannon stands out. But innovation comes with its challenges. As the public longs after the promised military vehicle, the team in charge is sparing no effort to overcome every setback and deliver this technological marvel. Battlefield Dominance In the 2010s, the British Army faced a predicament. Their trusty fleet of light reconnaissance vehicles had faithfully served them for over four decades, but they were showing their age and desperately needed replacing. Additionally, the Army wanted a versatile armored fighting vehicle adaptable for various roles on the battlefield. The idea was to have a common base vehicle with interchangeable parts, making it easier to manage logistics, train mechanical engineers, and ensure proper maintenance and repair of these vehicles. To fulfill this requirement, the British government initiated a search, and after rigorous testing of prototypes, General Dynamics UK emerged victorious, winning the coveted contract. In September 2014, they signed a substantial £3.5 billion contract to supply 589 Scout Specialist Vehicles, or SV platforms, to the British Army. Roughly a year later, an additional contract worth £390 million was granted to provide in-service assistance for the Ajax fleet until 2024. The Scout SV Armored Fighting Vehicle comes in six different variants, each tailored for specific purposes. These vehicles were scheduled to be delivered to the British Army between 2017 and 2024, accompanied by initial in-service support and comprehensive training meant to become the backbone of the Armored Infantry Brigade structure, an essential component of the UK Ministry of Defense's Army 2020 initiative. Originally known as the Scout SV program, the project was later rebranded as the Ajax program. The new name was announced by the British Army on September 15, 2015, coinciding with the unveiling of the first turreted Ajax prototype to the press. Excitement grew as it was revealed that the first squadron of the British Army would be equipped with Ajax by mid-2019, marking a significant step forward in modernizing their armored capabilities. Thunderous Might With an innovative design that gives additional protection against mine blasts, General Dynamics claims that the Ajax is the best in its class in terms of protection and survivability. Crew seats are not connected to the vehicle floor, but are suspended to provide more survivability after a mine explosion. The vehicle is powered by a German-designed MTU V8199 TE21 turbocharged diesel engine that produces 805 horsepower. The engine is located at the front of the hull to enable the vehicle's rear to stow equipment and troops. It has a German Rink 256B six-speed fully automatic transmission, six forward gears, and five reverse gears. Remarkably, during trials, the test vehicle towed an additional 62-ton weight over 300 kilometers. The Ajax has a modular armor system fitted to the vehicle's sides. If damaged, a section of the add-on armor can be replaced by attaching a new unit. When more technologically advanced add-on armor is developed over the vehicle's lifetime, the old armor is taken off and the new armor bolted in its place. The manufacturer also equipped Ajax with electronic countermeasures, a laser warning system, an acoustic listening device, and a local situational awareness system. And noticeably, it placed the ammunition storage units outside the crew compartment. Ajax has a gross vehicle weight rating of 42 tons, but has a two-ton growth ability for extra equipment to be added to the vehicle without causing a significant impact on its performance. The new family includes six different variants of the tank, starting with the Ajax turreted vehicle for reconnaissance and strike, the Ares reconnaissance and armored personnel carrier, the Argus engineer reconnaissance, and the Athena command and control. They are followed by the Atlas equipment support recovery vehicle, the Apollo equipment repair version, 
and the Overwatch, a brimstone anti-tank guided weapon variant. Artillery Revolution. For the new Ajax, a special type of cannon called the CT, or cased telescoped 40mm cannon, will be used. This cannon is unique, decades in the making. Instead of using separate shells, the rounds for the CT cannon contain both the projectile and the propelling charge in one unit. Unlike traditional ammunition, the rounds for the CT cannon are contained inside a tube and do not have a pointed bullet-shaped nose cone. The rounds are loaded sideways into the gun barrel automatically, thanks to the cannon's autoloader feature. This loading mechanism saves space behind the gun, allowing for more ammunition to be stored. Also, its tubular rounds are smaller than regular 40mm rounds, enabling the storage of a greater quantity. Currently, there are five types of rounds available. Armor-piercing, training, airburst high-explosive, aerial airburst, and point-detonating rounds. All of these have different operational uses. For example, the armor-piercing round is designed to penetrate 140 millimeters of hardened steel, reaching its target 1,500 meters away in under a second. When fighting against multiple light targets, such as infantry and soft-skinned supply vehicles, the cannon would use airburst high-explosive rounds, covering an area of 125 meters with shrapnel. The aerial airburst round would be effective against highly mobile targets like drones, helicopters, and light aircraft. For urban warfare, the point detonating round is designed to penetrate thick concrete. Building on the already amazing power of its ammunition, the cannon fires at a velocity of 900 meters per second and can reach targets as far as 4,000 meters away. Additionally, the Ajax turret boasts a 7.62mm coaxial L94A1 machine gun and 76mm smoke and fragmentation grenade launchers. Some variants of the vehicle, such as the Ares armored personnel carrier, are also armed with a remotely controlled 12.7mm machine gun instead of the turret. Trial and Triumph Ajax was originally scheduled for completion in 2017, but has faced multiple delays. Despite billions spent so far, only 26 out of the contracted 589 vehicles have been received. By 2022, the National Audit Office, or NAO, warned that the Ajax project could face insurmountable difficulties. The Ministry of Defense stated that they would not accept an unfit vehicle for its intended purpose, and is working with the manufacturer, General Dynamics, to address the issues. One of the problems causing delays is that personnel are being affected by excessive noise and vibration inside the vehicle. The report indicated that the Ministry lacks confidence in the vehicle's safety and the possibility of meeting its target for Ajax to be fully operational by April 2025. The report highlighted challenges and difficult decisions ahead for the MOD to deliver the project. The delays have implications for the Army's planned restructure by 2025 as it continues to rely on outdated equipment. The National Audit Office concluded that the MOD did not demonstrate value for money and that further expenses might be incurred to maintain existing armored vehicles. The NAO's head called for fundamental improvements in the MOD's management of major programs. The report has been criticized by a member of the House of Commons, stating that Ajax is another government project that has gone off track, impacting the Army's capabilities. The Ministry of Defense acknowledged the troubles with the Ajax program and emphasized their commitment to delivering a fit-for-purpose vehicle by resolving noise and vibration issues. They assured that alternative reconnaissance capabilities would be utilized to address any capability gaps. General Dynamics also reaffirmed their dedication to the program, as a spokesperson promised, quote, Ajax will be the most technologically advanced armored fighting vehicle in the world, providing much-needed state-of-the-art capability to British forces. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating exploration of modern military technology. Show your excitement by giving us a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. As you explore, be sure to check out other intriguing Doc Documentaries channels as well. Stay tuned.